I'd like to welcome you to the IDEA Virtual Academy. This time we speak about professional ISM management with IDEA, crew and ship certificate, safety documents, forms and drills. My name is Tobias Allebrot, I'm Managing Director at IDEA Data Solutions and I'd like to give you some further insight. The IDEA ISM system is able to get customized fully to your needs. First of all to mention here is the so-called permission management you can find inside the settings sections. Inside the permission management you can customize all permissions for each individual module if it's readable, writable and which role should have the permission to do so. Furthermore, there are reminders which can also customize to your needs. First of all is to mention there is a reminder manager. This allows or forbids for each role on board certain reminders which can then customize into your own reminder section to be shown on your reminder screen which could be even the front screen when you start the software. There are also plenty opportunities to change the drop-down fields used in every module by going via the settings section into the drop-down field settings. Just to show you, the ISM for instance contains safety document types, safety document categories, certificate categories, drills and form categories. They're easily to be added and to be deleted. Please note that most of our ISM modules are related to workflows. These workflows can easily found inside the departments and positions management. There you are able to define departments, roles related to the departments, position and the order number, and the related workflow, who is allowed what. For instance, from state draft to state approved, so the activity approved document can in this case just be done by captain and superintendent. Last mentioned for the ISM settings is in this case the notification section. The notification section can be found in the home module under notifications. There are internal notifications generated by the systems to be displayed when you start the system. Surely this information can also be sent to a person's email address and even to the person's mobile phone by text messages. This can be customized inside the crew and guest database at the notification settings tab where you can put in the related information. To manage this notification you also have to go into the settings section and click on manage notifications. First of all you have to define the notification group. In this case there are currently two groups active which is called the chief end group and the superintendents group. As you can see, inside the chief ANC group, there's a captain and a chief engineer active and inside the superintendent's group is a superintendent and a captain active. Inside the workflow, you now define who is getting informed as soon as you have one of these settings set. So as soon now a revoke or a request is revoked, the chief engineer group gets a message. So in this case, the captain and the chief engineer. IDEA can be used by boats of all sizes. Therefore, there is mostly two or three solutions for one problem. In this case, for instance, in a very easy way, you can manage your crew and guest certificates inside the crew and guest database itself. For instance, for passports and visas with date of issue and expiry, 
for the medical detail to see the ENG1 expiry date, or for instance for the inside deployment details, the COC expiry date. All this information seen can be displayed on the startup screen. In this case, you are always informed about expiry dates of smaller vessels. This functionality allows every boat, even as small as possible, with just a few crew members to sort out their crew certificates. The challenges for larger yachts are different. With crews in a size of 30, 40, partially 50 and 80 people, these yachts need to organize a full-blown certificate management. Has everyone a valid STCW certificate? What if the chief engineer leaves? Do we might have a second or third on board who can take over his role with the certificate of competence he is currently having? All this can be planned and supervised within the IDEA certificate management for crew and guest database. The management allows you to define for each certificate which role is mandatory for this and which role is optional for this. This way it allows you to overview who has a certificate, which certificate is missing and which of the guys has a certificate which is not valid anymore. Last but not least, you can see all this information if you use the My Reminder functionality to have this on the very first view if you start up your software. Surely it's also very easy to add a certificate. Just go into the crew and guest database, into the crew certificates, switch to the management and add a new template. They will be able to define a name for the template and a description. Surely you can now choose the mandatory positions and the positions which having optional modules. Please keep in mind you're not able to choose a position twice. Now inside the overview you get an information that these certificates are missing as well. The same way you are also able to modify the related templates. Going back into the management, choose the related template and change it when necessary. There's one additional setting you need to know if you'd like to work with this tool. Inside the settings and the general settings, so-called system settings, you'll find here a days before warning or days before expiry warning. This allows you to see expiry dates already 90 days before 120 days before or whenever you think it's fruitful for your boat. Just save it and the related colors inside the crew and guest database should change. Certificates have to get tracked over the lifetime of the boat. Therefore, there is surely also a certificate module inside of IDEA, which is surely also part of the ISM system. As you can see, there is also a reminder for the certificates in your home stream if you customized it accordingly under My Reminders and Manage Reminders. Easily you can jump from here into the certificate itself to see the related information for the certificate. In this case, for instance, the survey dates, the validity, the issued organization, 
and you can even have a look and download the file if you just click on the small arrow. As you can see, also the ISM module for safety documents is workflow driven. That means after adding this document to the documents you are using, you have now the option to put in different states. This is related also to the permission management to make sure not a bosun is cancelling a document which might be necessary for using the vessel. I have now the option to cancel the document, to set it obsolete, to put it back into a draft mode or to delete it completely if I'd like. Furthermore, I have the option to see the log, what happened with this document before, and who'll get informed as, cool, as soon one of these states is changing. Let's add a document to see how easy this is. We add a new certificate, add the certificate name, choose a category and a group, and define the next or the last survey dates and the validity of the document. Then we can add a comment, upload a file. and save the information we put in and set this document active. As you can see, this is locked and now one is, uh, at least chief engineer and captain are getting informed. Also, we can see the related information now if we hover over into our certificates as this certificate will expire and also this certificate has an next survey date within the next 30 days. Last but not least, if you'd like to, you could also choose to see a key performance indicators for your certificates to make sure you're always informed also with bright colors that a certificate is expiring. As every other ISM related module, Surely also the safety documents module has got related reminders in your home screen if you customize this. As you can see, currently I have two documents to acknowledge, once from Clive Captain, secondly by Jack the Captain, and there's one document, the SMS 1.3, which has a next survey date within 30 days. As usual, I can easily jump now from here into the related document I'd like to see. So we have here the safety management and safety documents module and there is a document I have to check. Going into it, checking the revisions, I can see there's one issued version which is definitely not valid anymore or not longer valid after the 29th of September. And there is a document, let's say, which is currently in draft mode. Now I'd like to have a new document. I upload the related new document, in this case, the version 3, for instance. Upload the document. Have a new validity date, which is, for instance, now next year, not this year anymore. And the next survey date, which is most probably in March in half a year. Now I can add some comments if I'd like to. Go to the already issued document, set it to obsolete and approve the document which was currently in draft and issue the document. Surely I don't have to do all these tasks by myself and you don't need all this task by yourself. If you'd like to have an easier workflow, just customize the workflow according to your needs. This way I have someone getting the document ready, someone approving document and someone activating the document for the daily life of the boat. If I go back now into the home screen, 
you'll realize that the safety documents next survey date is now empty and the document to acknowledge has a different entry now. This document is related to my duty to read this document. Also, I open it, open the related document, go into the revision and acknowledge my reading. Going back now into the home screen, I can see there's still SMS document 1.1, which has to be read by two other persons. Surely, also adding new documents is pretty easy inside of IDEA. Just open the menu, choose ISM, go to the safety documents, add a new document, put the new document in, add the related information, category if you'd like to, type if you'd like to, description if you'd like to, <clears throat> save information, go to the revision, put in validity, put in next survey date, put in a name, save the revision, close it, no, sorry, approve the document, <laughs> issue the document, close the document, go into the home screen, and as you can see, there it is, and can now be tracked and traced by you, including a history and everything else necessary for a proper ISM management. The IDEA Forms module is a simple but powerful tool inside of IDEA to facilitate a load of forms filling and storing it digitally. It can be found inside the ISMs under Forms. In this case, for instance, we would like to fill out a permit to work. Machine appliance, generator, work to be done, replacing whatever, location on board, crew carrying out and officers in charge. As you can see, there are just a few fields to fill. Also, I can tick boxes, isolated main and backup emergency power sources to confirm that all the necessary duties are done, specific precautions I did additionally, and how long the permit is valid. Then I can sign it and countersign it if necessary. This way I store a document in the documents history for all the times whenever I need it. As you can see, filling out forms. Estimating now generation of new forms is very tricky. That's wrong. Just switch over to manage forms and create a new one. You have a form name, a category, and a switch description. And then you create it. You'd like a date field? Yes, there it is. A header, please. A number, there it is. You can change it accordingly. You can have radio buttons. Also, this can be customized easily. Option one, option two, option three. Yeah, nine, ich weiß nicht, to use some German words, which is yes, no, I don't know, and I can save it. From that moment, this form is available. So if I go back to my forms, I can easily see there is a form and I can fill it out. This is today. Surely can always switch to any other date if I'd like to. I can put in the numbers and answer the questions. This way I can facilitate most of the tasks which are ready to filling out forms. Keep in mind, if you are connected to a management company and you're replic replicating your database, 
Also the management company can see all related forms and all related form history. They are also able to add new forms or to manipulate them in case there is a new revision available. As also the other ISM modules, the drill module facilitates your daily work on board of a super -year. Surely there is also a reminder which shows you which drill is currently due on your boat. The drill module itself can be found inside the ISM menu via drills or manage drills. Let's start with the drills. Here you see all drills currently down or already started as you can see at the filter. Let's start the drill to see what happens. Here you see all details. You can see a log what happened with these drills before. You can relate to step-by-step -step procedures inside the software or you can see who will get informed as soon as some of the states are changing of a drill similar to all the other ISM modules inside the software. As soon as you start the drill, the software assumes that all persons currently on board and logged into the database are attending the drill as necessary, for instance for any STCW drills. Surely you can take them off or on again. Furthermore, you are able to put in a date when you exercise the drill and when you originally had planned this drill. This is just important if you report something later than you attended. Let's assume we did the drill today. We can now put in some information which are might be necessary and are even able to upload documents to prove something. Let's perform it now. As you can see, the drill is now performed and I can't change it anymore. And we also can see that this drill was performed by me now. Also, this drill appears now in the list of done drills. The next due date is the 25th of October 2020 now. Nice to know if I now put some categories in or some drills and filter for different related states, then I can even print a report of all the drills with everyone who has attended. Also nice to know is these drills are also mentioned inside the crew and guest database for the persons attending a drill, as you can download the training history for everyone who has attended. As I'm as IDEA administrator not on board, you can't find anything. Let's check someone else. In this case, for instance, Mr. Clive Captain and the related drill history. Now let's check how easy it is to put a drill inside the system. Closing the report and going back into the ISM management of drills. As you can see, I already added a new drill and start to customize it now. I can give it a proper name. And I can link it to one of the categories if I'd like to. Then I can choose which role should attend this drill normally. I can put in the description a last exercise date at an interval when I'd like to repeat this drill, like for an STCW drill once per month or for any other drill the related period. As on most other ISM functionality as well, I can upload a file and surely I can see what happened, adding step-by-step -step procedures 
or check who will get informed as soon as some of the states are changing. Finally, we have to activate the drill to make sure we can see it on all our schedules. We can now go again into the drill module and see this drill appearing when necessary. Now we could start this drill and do the training regarding the perfect drill for men overboard. Thank you very much for your attention. Do you have questions, amendments? Please put them in the chat below or drop me a quick email at tobias.alebrot at idea-data.com. Thanks a lot and bye bye.